Hey guys, uh, welcome back to Power Apps Learning Channel. Today we are going to look at how we can get the document versions uh, in Power Apps from SharePoint Document Library. So we'll be showing the list of documents, and when you click on View Versions, we'll be showing the properties of different versions of that selected document. So let's continue on uh, how to achieve this. So we'll be making use of, so we'll be actually triggering a flow from Power Apps. The, from the flow, we'll be using send HTTP request to SharePoint because there is no default action available in uh, Power Automate to get the versions. But using this HTTP request, you can call uh, any REST API endpoint uh, to get the versions uh, of the document, selected document. So this particular action, send HTTP request to SharePoint, there are a lot of REST API endpoints uh, using which you can make a lot of uh, customization in SharePoint, like you can manage the permissions, uh, you can add users, a group, side groups, you can create site even. So we'll be using uh, this particular endpoint, which is web list, get by title, we're getting the uh, library and then items, item ID, versions. So item ID, will be getting it from the Power Apps and uh, from this API, we'll be making a get a method call. We'll get uh, a response from this action and that, that will send back to the Power Apps. So this is, this is the screenshot of uh, the action. We'll be looking at it in detail. So let me quickly show you the demonstration of uh, this particular uh, uh, POC, what we have uh, done. Uh, let me just switch to the Power App Studio. So this is our demo app. I'll just preview it. So these these are the documents from the document library. And uh, I have added an icon here where you can click on it to view the versions. So let me just click on it. Uh, it is calling the flow and it has already fetched the data. So it has uh, fetched all the versions of this particular document. So I've just shown two properties here. You can uh, depending on your requirement, you can add the metadata which you think is uh, might change. So here, this is the title field which I have updated just for the demonstration purpose. For the first version, there was no title here. I changed it, then I changed it again. And you can see the timestamp also which is different and the version number. So right now in my library, major versioning is enabled, minor version is not enabled. That's why you see all the major versions. So let's let just page versions for some other document. So you can see this. Uh, so these, this is how you can uh, showcase in the Power Apps. You can show the list of uh, documents and then you can show the versions of those documents and you can show who has modified it, at what time it, they have modified it, what properties have changed. So let me just quickly uh, show you uh, in, in the SharePoint library that, yeah, this is what uh, we are looking at in the Power Apps just to cross check it. So let me just click on version history. So as you can see here, uh, there, there are three different versions of document available for this uh, Excel file. So, so what you see here, it's same as what is there in the SharePoint uh, document library. Now, let's see how we have uh, implemented this. So. This is a pretty simple. We have directly bound, bound it to a documents library. Uh, this is, we have bound it to a collection. So this collection, we are getting it. When you click on this particular uh, icon, we are calling a flow. And the flow is returning a data which we have collected in the collection. So this is my flow, which, which is getting versions uh, of the document. And we are sending the ID of the selected document. So as you can see, run. And this is the parameter, which is ID of the selected document. And this flow will give me back a collection of uh, a data of all the metadata, what you get from the REST API call. So that's the part in this, uh, I mean, the Power Apps. And then I, from the, uh, when I, when you bound the collection, we are just binding it to a title. This is the title. 
this is a modified and this is the version version label so let me just show you the flow part uh, for this uh, demo so this is our uh, flow uh, where we just have two actions one is send HTTP request to SharePoint second is response uh, of course I know this is a premium uh, connector uh, request and response we can or you can uh, send a string the whole response you can send as a string to a power apps and then you can process that string to convert into a collection i'll uh, make a separate video for that because even i need to uh, work on that part how we can uh, process the string uh, into a collection so just to note uh, so this is your send http request sharepoint uh, get method this is our web list get by title documents library items and this is the parameter what we have we are getting from the the power apps the id and slash origins and in the response we are just using this particular uh, we so you if you are familiar with the rest apis if, uh, this is how you get usually you get uh, the d is the main object and then you get the result object and within result object you get the array of the the specific entity object so uh, while responding back you need to make sure that this is how you put it in the expression uh, the name of your previous action and then d and results so this will respond back the collection of the versions uh, what you are getting from this rest api call http call so that's the part again uh, in, in this so let me just show you if i can show you the payload sample payload uh, yeah it's loading so if you look at it this will give you version id version name everything like we, I, i'm getting everything right now after who has modified it so all the columns all the metadata you will get it uh, which you can show it in the power apps so that's it in this video it was just a quick uh, quick demo of how you can get the demos uh, the versions of the document from a sharepoint document library and how you can show it in the uh, in the power apps so just just uh, ask me any question if you have uh, put it in the comments uh, thank you for watching i hope this will help you guys